just wanted to make sure that it was on. Um, this is a very excited but slightly annoyed Jezdemail because today I have major fibro fog to the point that I called arteries blood things because I couldn't remember what arteries were. But this is an exciting day for me because for starters, check out the setup. My brother let me borrow his laptop. I got the webcam working, which I shut off when I'm done with it so people can't see me picking my nose at night. Because I know people go into people's webcams, and I love picking my nose like this in front of the thing while watching Adventure Time, you know? Don't want people seeing it like I just did now. Um, but I was I was really excited, and it's it, this is the first day in quite a while that I've been this able to physically show how happy I am, if that makes sense. Because I'm in my life... Even with the shoulder and the fibromyalgia or chronic pain and fatigue, if you would like rather me say. Um, I will say fibromyalgia because I have been diagnosed with that. But I will also allow just chronic pain and fatigue if you don't believe in the fibromyalgia thing. Um, I'm 100% fine with that. It's just pain and fatigue. Um, and I forgot what I was going to talk about. That is my fucking fibro fog right there. But, um, oh, that's what I was talking about. Before my surgery, I was doing pretty bad. My pain was an 8 to a 9 constantly, and that was because of the arthritis. Uh, fortunately, I don't think that they did the uh, biopsy. I'm not sure. I'll find out tomorrow. That's the other good news. Um, and so um, then I was fine. I felt sick for a couple of days, had some issues, and oh yeah, I was going to tell you that story. I guess I'll tell it to you now before I forget. This is embarrassing because I didn't want to do it with face cam. Um, I'm 37 years old, female. Um, and this is going to be a funny story. It's embarrassing, it's personal, but you're in the hospital, they stick shit in you, you know? Um, and my roommate at the time suggested I tell people this too, because she was laughing her ass off in the corner. Um, so I had my surgery, and after surgery, uh, I had the blocker in my neck, which I was able to take out, uh, four days later, which they were quite surprised by, um, how long I was able to keep it in. And I'll explain that later too. But, um, so... Uh, there's a couple things you have to do before you can leave the hospital afterwards. You have to be able to put down solid foods, as in put it in your mouth and have it come out your butt, uh, or your stomach is able to deal with it because you will be constipated after surgery. Um, and then being able to pee on your own. And so the first day rolls around, and I'm in bed, and I'm not feeling good. For the, I remember opening my eyes and seeing my mom stand up and say, Hi, sweetie, how are you doing? But I don't remember anything else except for... I remember laying on the... Um, they switched me over. They asked me to scooch my butt over to the other table, which they were do the surgery on me. Um, and everyone's talking to me, and this lady leaned over and said, My name's this! And she scared me because she was up here. Um, and she told me to breathe in and count back from three. And I said, three, two, and then... <laughs> and then I woke up and I saw my parents. And I felt good for about 10 minutes, but then I got really, really sick. I felt so sick. I just, I didn't feel good. And I looked horrible. Uh, one of my, the best pictures I've ever taken, though, was that day, which is odd. Um, I usually don't keep pictures of myself, but it was a really nice picture. But, um, so I w obviously wasn't going to be able to go home that day. Because you're supposed to stay at least one to two days after anyway. So the night rolls around. Oh, and then I'll tell you another story, too, because something actually happened at the... Yeah, I think I should be allowed to say it. I don't think it was on the news, but something really weird... Two really weird things happened at the hospital while I was there. Um, but... Um, so I went through the first night, and they and I didn't have to pee at all the first evening, I don't think. Um, I tried, and I couldn't, and I tried, and I couldn't... Um, and then I was like, you know, I was squirming around in bed because I was like, fuck, I feel like I'm about to die of urine and I cannot pee. No pee whatsoever. And um, unfortunately, that means that I would need a straight catheter, which means that they take, um, and they won't, they won't leave it in there because you have to be able to pee on your own. But um, after you have a kind of procedure like that, because I was, I had a catheter in while I was having surgery done and the surgery was about four and a half hours. Um, but the anesthesia and stuff make it so some of your bits and bobs don't bit or bob as well as they used to for a couple of hours. So I was not able, even though I felt like I was moving my muscles, I was not able to urinate. And I really, really had to go. <laughs> and so I'm laying in the bed and I, they go, okay, try to go to the bathroom. I'm sitting there on the toilet. I'm 
go trying to go to the bathroom and the nurse keeps on coming in and she goes you okay and I'm like I'm not dying in here if that's what you're asking and I'm sitting here and I'm trying and I'm like please please let me pee I need to pee please <laughs> maybe if I rock back and forth I'll be able to pee um now the worst part is is since I had such a major surgery I didn't realize how major it was actually until then I am not allowed to go to the bathroom on my own the entire time I'm in the hospital so every time I had to go pee you know, I had to call, which was really sad at the end. <laughs> but so, uh, anyway, so I go in, and I still remember their faces. I said, I can't, I can't pee. And so the, and it was nighttime, it was, it was, what time was it? It was like two or three in the morning, because they, at the first uh, night, they wake you up every two hours to check, check your vitals, because I was having issues with um, uh, blood pressure and um, heart rate, because of, um, pain and stuff the first day and I wasn't taking pain medication for my shoulder I was taking pain medication for my hips and my back um because those hurt so bad um so it wasn't even this that hurt you know which was and I let them know that too because they needed to know that but anyway so I'm laying there and I said I have to go to the bathroom they're like we're gonna have to give you a straight catheter and a straight catheter before I got sidetracked it's just the tube that they stick into your urethra, which it seems more difficult when it comes to men than women, but it might be longer, but it's easier to find where to stick it. Um, with women, you you got the in the in that and everything, but the I'm trying to draw vagina stuff. I mean, a vulva stuff, not vagina, because that's on the inside. Um, a long story short. Every woman has a different body. Oh, this is great. My mom's in the other room. She gets to hear this, too. All right. I paused it just in case she had to say something to me so she wouldn't be heard over the thing. But um, I might have also paused it because it's kind of embarrassing that I'm, no one's in the room and I'm talking about a, a catheter story. Um, so uh, for women... The urethra could be further back, could be up, could be down. You know, it could be a little difficult to see. And so, so here's this lady, and I feel so bad for her. I, I, I'm laying down, and she's like, could you spread your legs a little? And so I lay down with my legs spread, but kind of like, let's say you're your, these are two legs. I was like this. And then this area right here is my lady junk. So I'm sitting here doing this on the bed, okay? And she's like, wow, that's really going to help. Because <laughs> it's making it a lot easier. And so she's trying to look, and she's trying to look, and she's trying to look, and she's like, I can't, I can't find it. <laughs> I'm going to need some help. So she leaves, comes back with another nurse and a flashlight. And so they're both down there trying to find it, with all their hands, with gloves on, of course, all over my junk. And I'm sitting here trying not to laugh, but I have to pee so bad. And all I hear is, do you think it's there? Oops, we put it in the vagina. <laughs> we'll just leave it there so we know that's not where we're supposed to put it again. <laughs> so about four or five times of this, they finally get it in there. And I feel bad because I my bladder was so full, I was scared that I was actually going to fill their container up. And uh, this did not happen once. This happened twice. And the second time, it was two separate ladies Two, I mean, it was two separate groups of ladies. Uh, no. Yeah, it was two... I can't remember if it was the same nurse, at least the same nurse for t both of them or not. But the second time, they lifted the bed up like this and then tried it and still had to, you know, shove the shit in my vagina until they found the right spot for that. But um, I didn't need a third one because I ended up going to the bathroom. And then for every two hours on the dot, I had to call a nurse and ask to pee. Because I had so much liquid. Because I didn't actually pee on my own until the second day. Um, so there's my story. <laughs> I just... So I'm sitting here. And I just hear these light giggles behind the curtain. When the nurse just says, Oops, that's the vagina. <laughs> We're just going to leave that there. But, um, so there's the story. But, um... Let's get on with this. is going to be a pretty long video, actually, because I'm going to try all the food stuff, too. Um, I feel bad for Metal Canyon. I was uh, I talked to him this morning. Uh, and, of course, we talked about this and stuff because, we were, like I said, we were supposed to do this together. And I am indeed planning on getting more for if I visit or he visits. At this time, um, 
I probably won't be able to visit him. One, funds. Um, the GoFundMe was great. I have enough money to be able to get my passport, which I'm not going to deal with right now because I have a, a, a lot of other stuff I'm doing, and I believe I can also get some um, luggage with that too. So that's really nice. Um, so thank you so much for that again. Uh, but um, what was I talking about? Gosh darn it, I hate this. Nope, my brain died. I'm gonna have to watch the video back to see what I was talking about. I was talking about talking to Metal Canyon. Um, but um, this is the first time in a while. Did I say that in this video? Yeah, I think I did. That I can, I, I physically look happy, because I'm given the situation. Like I said. I'm happy most days. There's some days that are really, really, really not happy. Um, like, really depressing pain-wise. Because it's hard to keep the pain in, you know. to um, Sometimes I just have to be in the fetal position and cry until I go to sleep. Um, you know, because of the paper skin and the glass bones and everything. No, but between the um, migraines that happen every once in a while, the dizziness and the pain, it's just an issue. But, um, let's see... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to say I felt so bad for Metal Canyon because I was so hyped up today and I couldn't remember half my words, but I was just so happy that it's, you know, I'm going to be able to record again. Like I said, all this, um, oh, God fucking damn it. I accidentally just shut off the whole thing. I'm going to have to put these together. Um, <laughs> but not being able to crack my back, which is between my shoulder blade, would, would make this pain go away because I've done it in the past, I can't crack my back. <laughs> so I'm in constant pain back there. But I use my neck thing, like I said it in another video, and it helps a lot. It's just frustrating. Um, when I go in to see the surgeon, I'll probably get another um, doctor's appointment to see the rheumatologist to see where to go from there. Because um, my moderate arthritis could be severe arthritis pretty quickly. Um, my knees are pretty bad now. They're pretty loud. Uh... I like to scare people with him, but I guess that's not a nice thing. Um, it's going to be a very long video, I'm sorry. Um, and you could probably tell that my um, energy levels are just plummeting. And in here, I'm just dancing around. I'm like, fuck yeah. But I'm like, Pfft. So um, before I forget, let's start on the food items. Let's do taste testing stuff. Now, I didn't go online to see what these were. So if... I don't know their names, but I do know a description of what they are, I should say. I want to start with this because I want to have some fun. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. Um, if I didn't already say, because I've recorded this so many times, I set the laptop up to play games, obviously, because it is a gaming laptop. I forgot to mention that. But um, I added Bandicam and everything else, too, so I will be able to record some stuff when I'm feeling up to it. This came with a tiny little cute rubber band. And uh, so I'll be able to do that. And then I got my cam here so I could pick my nose while I'm doing Let's Plays and just vlogging like this. Um, and to be quite honest, I don't know how many days I have until I'm fatigued again. So I want to try to get all this out while I can. Um, it's so frustrating to used to be so filled with energy, but then wake up morning one morning and you can't even get out of bed or... You, you can't get out of the shower without assistance. It's pretty crummy. Um, so the first thing we're going to try is this cute little toffee. You can see this. I still can't get over how cool that is. I'm a proper vlogger! Um, and what it comes with is, is this candy. It's just a tube of sugar, which I will use my teeth to get into because I forgot the scissors. And a pair of chopsticks, which I will break in half. And what they want me to do is open this container. Oh, I didn't need it. Open this container and squeeze. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have sat on this for a minute. Um, not in a sexual way, but the heat of my butt probably could have. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna set this right here to let it heat up a little bit because I cannot get it out of the package to do the rest of it. It's just on my knee. We're gonna start off by trying my favorite item. These. These little things are french fried looking um, fries uh, that have a little bit of prawn taste to them. And they're amazing. Um, I had never had this brand. 
but um, apparently on the back, like I said before, but this camera's way nicer to show this stuff. Um, I'll have to get my brace back on in a second. It's starting to hurt. Um, Kappa's back there, putting all the ingredients together, throwing in prawns, and then one giant prawn and two Kappa guys decide to knead the dough, flatten the dough, cut into the chippies, and then fry the fuckers. So yeah, so we're going to try this first, and this is Calbee. And I would suggest not going to Wajamaya or other markets like that to get these. Woof! It smells like the seafood section. It catches you off guard at first, but the initial, you know, um, plume of fit, uh, prawn smell goes away from the bag. It's very subtle. Um... I would suggest you go to any um, Oriental or Asian market. Because in my area, we have one place that's called Oriental Market, one place called an Asian Market, and then we have um, Fubon, I think it is, which is a really nice market, too. You can get bags like this for 50 cents a piece, and then big bags for a dollar when they're three, four bucks or more in bigger stores. So you want to go to the small hole in the wall. Um, if you're the only person who isn't the same race as the person shopping in that place, you're in the right place. And also says, this also goes to say, if you want authentic food, if you be the only person in there who's not of the same um, culture, I should say, of that food, like if you want Chinese food, and you're the only non-Chinese person in that restaurant, it must be pretty good food. I don't know how we came up with that idea. But I don't want to go to an authentic Mexican restaurant and not have anyone who lived off of that food not eating there. Um, like Taco Bell, for instance. The Tex-Mex stuff. Um, none of this is meant to sound racist. I'm sorry if it does. Um, but you want to go to the stores where you're the only person there who they're staring at, cause, staring at because you seem... Like, you're not supposed to be there, I guess you, I should say. Now it's starting to sound bad. I don't mean it to. But um, the store I go to is a really, really nice place. But literally, everyone in the area who is... Um, it seems like everyone in the area who's of Chinese descent goes there to get a lot of their stuff. Um, I think they even sell uterus there. So and that's the only place I know of in the area um, that sells uterus. But, um, yes... I'm not racist, but that makes me racist for saying that, right? Um, these, amazing. I I'm just going to keep this in. I again, I'm sorry if I say anything that's bad. I'm bad with words today. Um, <laughs> best place to get these is in a market where there's no English on the front of the market, I guess I should say. Because um, they're so much cheaper. I'm just digging myself a hole. I just need a small little shovel. Dig myself in and just let myself in. And you can cover me with dirt. Mmm. Mmm. These are really good. Um. They're very crunchy. They taste like potato. Um. They have a very nice. Um. Small secluded area of prawn taste. So if you chew this and you leave it on the right side of your mouth, you're going to have a nice little prawn taste on the right side of your tongue. It's not going to, like, rape your mouth with um, the flavor of prawn. While I'm at it, I might as well go all the way and use all the words I use. Because um, to be honest, in a lot of my videos, I try my best not to be myself because I think I would actually offend people. And I never mean to offend people, ever. I don't want to offend people. That's the last thing I want to do. These are good. These are really good. They also have these in spicy and stuff, too. But, um... I highly recommend these because they're very light. Very light in prawn flavor. It's like the essence of prawn. Um, my favorite ones are actually the snow peas. Those things are fucking amazing. I don't want them, though, because I'll eat an entire package of them. Because, like I said, go to the market where there's no English on the front, I swear. Um, <clears throat> because at Awajimaya... For six dollars, they had a bag of the um, peas, 
And those peas are literally made just like these. Um, except for in the shape of snow peas and then fried. And there's no prawn in them, it's peas. And it was five, six bucks for a, pa a huge package. You did not see that again. God, I need to, I need to put the brace back on. Um, and, uh, maybe I shouldn't have made this video. Now I'm just gonna seem weird. Um, uh, I should also say that I haven't smoked any marijuana, so it's not because of that. <laughs> um, but, it's like five, six, five, five, six bucks? <laughs> it's apparently five or six bucks for that bag. It's five or six bucks for that bag, but if you go to, um, the Asian market, I think it's literally called the Asian market, um, that bag's only like two bucks, you know, but as I said, I think I said in another video, they're not in stock all the time. They only have in stock what they get, you know, um, so let me, yay, okay, it's melted now, we'll do this one now. So, um, I'm sorry in advance if I have offended anyone, or, um, if, if you like these type of vlogs where I'm real, <laughs> let me know, and I'll do more of them. It's just that I try my best not to say things, because, like I said, I really don't want to upset people. Um, I do live in a, um, I am old enough that I use black instead of African American, and I'm trying my best to change, but, uh, growing up almost... 35, how many, I'm going to say 30 years of my life or so using the term black and Caucasian, which is white now. I mean, um, I was confused because I was looking for Caucasian on the list of what ethnicity you are, and it was, um, Caucasian wasn't there. So I went down to the bottom and it said white, and I'm like, okay, there's no more Caucasian. Um, but, um, so I'm sorry in advance if I say things, certain words or things, or terms that are not person friendly. I didn't roll my eyes. I'm sorry. Not person friendly. I'm trying to get this out. Not person friendly now, uh, but might have been more um, tolerated back in the day. I'm really sorry about that. I don't mean to upset anyone with that. Um, so what you do is you're supposed to put a little bit of it on this. Oh, this is this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna have little sugar stuff all over the darn place. Oh, let's just stick this on my pillow. Might as well. And what you do here is you mix both together. I mean, you put it on both sides and you just fiddle with it. And as you can see, it's slowly. I don't think I put enough on it, but as you can, see, I can't get any closer. As you can see here, it's slowly turning into a toffee-like consistency. It's no longer clear. It's, it's, was that opaque now? Transparent is clear and opaque is, yeah, whatever. Um, as you can see, it's slowly turning into a taffy. And you keep on doing this until you're at the right consistency you want, and then you eat the fuck out of it. And I'm going to try it now. Um, so I can get on to the next thing because I am slightly embarrassed by this video. Um, so yeah, if you like these types of videos where I'm just, um, my 100% myself, um, warning to ever offending anyone. Sorry in advance. Um, I'll make more videos like this. Um, I have a couple things I want to talk about um, news-wise, but I, like I said, I don't want to upset people about it. I'll do, I'll do new stuff too. Um, since I haven't been doing video game things, it's easier for me to do these when I'm up to it. So anyway, let's give this a try here. Hmm. It's, um, very sticky. It needs to be played with a lot more. Because as the air gets into it and it folds into it, it becomes fluffier. But I didn't put enough on it. It's just really it's stuck between my back front teeth. It's really... See, even with the sling on, I'm using the shoulder. Bad. I'm going to have to put the belt on to prevent me from moving my arm. Um, oh, I should mention that on Friday, I'm able to t take this brace off at home. Um, I think I still have to wear it to bed, and I need to wear it out in public, but I'm not, I don't have to wear it anymore in the house. It's mainly just so I won't accidentally grab for stuff. Like, um, I know I definitely would do if I didn't have it on. I think I have a strand of dog hair in my throat. I have that tickle. 
and it just keeps on moving. It keeps on moving around. So that was actually pretty good. Very light lemon taste to it. It's very light. Very sweet, very light. So let's go on to the next thing. I do not know what this is. I think it might be a cookie by how it feels. Um, I think Kabaya is the uh, company. Right here. I can't get over how good this looks. I just can't. Oh, and another disclaimer. If I did offend you while watching this, I did not mean to offend you. And you can let me know what I said or I had done to offend you, and I will try my best not to do that again. Um, but um, this is just how I am. Oh, it looks like an... Oh! That smells good. I believe this is a green tea cookie. It looks like an almond cookie that also has a little bit of green on the top like it's green tea. Pardon me. <coughs> Now, while I said I don't like um, offending people, I also like having very nice, thoughtful conversations on um, people's beliefs and what they agree and they don't agree about. If um, you can tell me that you hate apples, but you don't know why, I would ask you, why do you not like apples? Did someone say you don't like apples? What's going on here? If you can literally tell me you don't like apples because they're red... Or you don't like them because they have seeds. Or you don't like them because you're allergic to them. I'm willing to listen. I may not agree with what you have to say. But I will have a nice conversation to, with you about it. I won't for, force your beliefs, my beliefs, on you. But it would be a nice conversation. And so, um, yeah, if you're interested in these vlogs, I'll talk about stuff. Um, and But I do have to say the conversations in the chat have to be nice. You have to give people as much respect as you want in return. Cause, because I'm shutting that shit down if people start complaining to each other. Because everyone has different beliefs. And you can't sh You have every right to shit on someone's belief. But you also should be able to respect them for telling you how they feel. They also have a right to shit on your reply to their... To you shitting on their shitting on their stuff. I don't know. Anyway, let's try this. Mm. That is an amazing cookie. Now, what does that taste? It has the consistency of an almond cookie. Um, it has uh, stuff in the middle. Maybe it's a mo mochi cookie. I don't know. But um, it has this... Taste of I think it's the taste of green tea, but it's very light and very sweet. And it's a nice cookie and it has a nice center. The center is um I probably have to say it was milk flavor. I don't think it's um vanilla. Extra sweet center, very small amount of center. Very good. Excellent cookie. Mm. I would try my best. I didn't plan to eat all of these. I guess now I'm just a pig. Um. If these came in giant packs, I'd probably eat all of them. But with individual packets like this, I would try my best not to eat a lot. Um. The almond taste is the first taste you taste. And then you get this nice, cool, refreshing... It's almost like a sweet green tea. It's like, uh, I forgot the name of the powder they use. But, um, they ha they have it in their desserts. And, um, it's for ice creams and other stuff, too. And it's this nice, refreshing flavor. But in between that, you get the tiniest little hint of the inside. And then it ends with almonds. Or whatever that flavor is. Okay, this one, which melted... In the package, it was... Okay, I should say that it was not melted when I got it. It melted while in my room. So, um, if you ever decide to buy from these people, their chocolates will... Probably not now. Because this is the time of the year that the stuff melts. Which, little note, you know, psst, this is a little secret. Anyone out there who has Amazon, okay? About, um, let's see, in March or so, look around at the different chocolate places. Because you can get 24 packs of chocolate 
for like five bucks. Like I'm talking about big sized bars because there's melting issues, of course, with the weather and they try to sell all their stock out before it's uh, before they can't because of the weather. So there's my hint to you. Um, oh, how cute. This is a Kit Kat that says premium hazelnut Kit Kat. It has 65 calories if you're interested. It has a little thing on the back so you can write a little note to someone you care about. They also have a Facebook and a Twitter. But um, it melted in the box after I got it because it's been sitting around. Yeah, it did. Oh, God, this looks gross. Um, I'm sure it tastes great, but oh, oh golly. Um, so here's my Kit Kat. I'll say one more time, this was not because of them. This was because of me. Because I did manhandle this a lot to, you know, to feel it after I got it. And it felt normal. So we're going to give this a taste. It's dark chocolate, I believe. Oh, it is so good. That is so good. Oh, I wish I had a million of those. Unfortunately, um... Japanese Kit Kats here are quite expensive. Now, before I continue... Now, the good thing about this is, is that since I didn't have it on my leg, it it's hard again. So it, it melts pretty easily. So I'm going to put it back in the package, because it's going to eventually make a giant mess, but I'll eat the rest of this later. Um, <coughs> Long-ass video for everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying. Remember, you guys can stop at any time you want. Go do some stuff and watch the video later. Later, skip to the end. Maybe you're not even. Maybe I'm not even gonna post this. Maybe you're not even watching this because I'm too embarrassed about all the other stuff earlier. Now the only problem about this is is that the chopsticks are now stuck in the thing. So the next thing we're gonna try is this. No wait, I already tried this. This was the strawberry candy that was oh so noms. This will be the uh, what am I trying today box probably. Let's see if my address is on there. No, no, it's not on there. You can't see it. It's on the other side. This right here, I believe, is supposed to be chicken-flavored noodles. It's supposed to taste like chicken-flavored ramen noodles. Um, and I'm just going to assume here, because I don't know because I can't read it. I don't know how long I had that paused for, so let me say this again. I forgot my other item that I thought I put in this box and I didn't. And it's of a dried cherry. And I assumed it was for Girls' Day or something, because I believe they have a Girls' and a Boys' Day in Japan. And um, I'm assuming this is for Boys' Day in Japan. This being um, chicken noodles. It's supposed to taste like chicken ramen, I think. Um, at least in the description of what was sent to me, these particular items were supposed to be chicken. But they might not be. But telling from the little guy on the back, with the littler guy on the back, this might be for Boys Day? I don't know. If you know what this is supposed to be for, because it looks like boy stuff, going to be honest, um, let me know. And we're going to open this up and have a taste. Just checking to make sure there isn't a packet in here, because it actually smells like chicken ramen. Okay, that's weird. All right. That's weird. So weird. They look like dry ramen noodles. As you can see. They just look like dry ass ramen noodles. In your mouth. They taste like chicken ramen. But they're fried and um, they just easily melt in your mouth. That is so weird. But they're really, 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 really good. Um, they, they taste exactly like chicken ramen. They have the consistency, the taste, and the flavor. Well, taste and flavor, same thing, of ramen. Um, I literally feel that I'm eating a container of ramen, and I want to drink the juice afterwards. This is just fucking awesome. I want more of these. If you know what this is, tell me the exact name, so I can try to pick up some more. Because <laughs> I need this in my life. We need this in our lives. Everybody needs it in their lives. Everybody. 109 calories. Pardon me. I hope I cut that out. I'm really sorry. I went to mute it and I missed. 
good lord. And then we're just going downhill. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the cheese puffs. This particular cheese puff we have is pizza flavor, uh, known by the pizza, the piece of cheese that is eating the pizza, and the Italian colors. These things are amazing. I had a link in my other video of them. I suggest you check them out. They taste so good. They make other things just taste like garbage, gonna be honest. Let's give it a smell. Uh, hmm. I smell not a basil. Is that basil? Hmm. Okay. Something sound, smells sour about this. Um, cheese. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not gonna taste good. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks like a giant Cheeto. Mm. That is really good. Um, at first, you get the initial taste of... Could it possibly be cheese? It's a little off-putting. But then, it hits you... I feel like I'm talking about the never-ending... Not the never-ending gobstopper. I, th it, I feel like I'm talking about the... Um, Violet, or whatever her name was, who tried the uh, full-course meal bubble gum in... Um, I was going to say Harry Potter, Jesus. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> it starts off a little odd. And you get the corn taste. But then it goes through the other flavors. And it ends a little spicy. It's a little lip burn spicy. It's not in your mouth hot spicy. So, um, let's see here. So the initial is the puff. And as soon as it dissolves... You have a giant sweet flavor of maybe tomato. You got some cheese. There's some rosemary. And some other stuff too. Nice spices. This, I would say, does taste like... And then at the end, it goes back to the corn and it tastes a little bit like the um, crust. So I would say that they did a very good job with this tasting like actual pizza. They did an extremely good job with this. Um, you can buy this in a hundred pack on Amazon, by the way. Um... So let's go to the next one here. The next one we got here is a lovely little thing called a mini cola. Doesn't look anything like the Coca-Cola. <laughs> now, I believe these are small little cylindrical um, candies that um, are as hard as a fucking rock that taste like cola. Um, I was noticing that there's a cute little star on the back, which I don't know if you can see. Yeah, right there. And, um, yes, and if you want to see more from here, even when I'm done, uh, and I'm able to use my computer again, I might still do vlogs on this laptop. It's a lot easier to do it here, though. Um, I hope to someday, maybe, perhaps, get the money to buy this from my brother. It's not cheap, but it makes things so much easier for me. God damn. It says pull on it, but this is so painful. Golly gee, come here. I need you really dirty. Oh, that was a bad idea. This, this is not going anywhere. That's that. If you give this candy to your children, you make them eat all of it. Because you are not going to... Oh, I'll just use a spoon, I guess. Pretend this spoon isn't here. I have to open this. I can't with my shoulder. I have a feeling... Candy's just gonna pop out everywhere. Okay. Oh wow! I didn't notice that before. Oh, that's cool. That's actually a cool container. It smells like cola. Actually, it smells like cherry cola. Um, there's no pictures of cherries on this. Inside, right there. Nice little pop top that c you can close it again if you want. Just snap it into place or put it down in the hole. And inside, as I said, it would be. Are these little tiny hard pellets that um hmm mm. if you I'm sorry that wasn't a bad look setting it on your tongue and letting it go this whole video just sounds bad um it tastes like root beer. But a couple seconds in, it does taste like cola. Now, it does taste like the stereotypical cola flavor. 
for candies. These are not bad. I also like that they're small hard candies to kind of force you not to eat them all because I know I'm a pig. Now the last one we have here, I believe is bubble gum and there should be four pieces in here. And this one is cherry flavored. And I remember buying these in four packs a long time ago at the market that I had by my house. And as I said, inside are four little balls of loveliness. And um, let me put three back. And uh, they're not hollow. Um, and they taste like the stereotypical Japanese strawberry flavor. Um, everybody has different flavors. Um, but this is the stereotypical Japanese strawberry flavor. Um, because I know the strawberry flavored candy here. Ooh. Those yummy strawberry hard candies with the, um, filling that, well, the fill filling is the consistency of this. And the outside packaging's in the shape of a strawberry. That's what these taste like. And those are the best hard candies in the world, by the way. So, um, hmm. I really like it because it tastes good. But as soon as the initial chewing is done, it loses a little bit of its flavor. Um, it's unusually slippy and slidey. It wants to kind of go all over the place, so I might be worried I might swallow it if I'm, like, running around and shit. But, um, take a look at it here. <laughs> the can't make bubbles. Eh. But, yeah, that's all it is. Nice little bit of gum. Um, I would probably put two pieces in my mouth if I was chewing it, but at the same time, this is more like a, um, to me, with the size and stuff, because I think this is, like, the kid's candy, and... Um, I as an adult, um, I would do this as a palate cleanser more than anything else, so one little piece would do. Right now, it's just sitting in the corner. Um, unlike that other stuff I had, which now I can show you a proper picture of it, because I saved the package to buy more someday. This stuff was very interesting. And I'm showing this to you so you have a better picture of it. They have... Now, someone in the comments said that this was actually, um, what I said it was, it was the gum, um, cotton candy, I believe they said. Um, they have two different versions of this. They have normal cotton candy, and then they have the cotton candy that you first eat it, but then a little bit of it that's left turns into gum, and it slowly gets smaller and smaller, and it's because they just have little flecks of gum in it, and <sighs> this stuff is so good. I love this stuff. I need to get more of it, but, but, at least on... Amazon, there's no place I can find that has this shit that's cheap. Um, I was trying to find another uh, candy kit. I was actually thinking, if you like these videos enough, I will um, get myself... Because this package of Japanese candy, minus, the, um, minus this, because this didn't come in the candy pack, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, all the stuff I showed you here and in my other videos was gifted to me by one of my subscribers. Um, if you guys like these videos enough, I was planning on waiting a couple months because they're, um, the uh, stock changes from season to season. Um, and I was going to buy another container of it because they should have different stuff because my stuff was completely different than the stuff shown. Uh, so that means if I waited a couple months, I should get something different still. So if you guys like these videos enough, I will literally go... And buy another pack of these so you, we can try out more candies together. And then we could have wonderful lives. Um, you know, if you're married to them fucking the police and eating candy. <laughs> married, dating, friends with benefits, anything, you know. Uh, oh, that, that just makes me think I should, <laughs> I should make a comedy sketch called The Friendly Racist. Goodness gracious. Any hoot. Um, there's that clay. The candy clay. But, um... Oh, shoot. I put the Papa Cookin' in there. That's gonna be a problem. Just throwing everything... Oh, no! I forgot half of the... Look at this thing. I forgot half of it was still there, because I'm gonna give this half to my mommy. Because she loves me. Look how small this gum is now. But it's good gum. Now I'm gonna have chocolate on my ankles. God damn it! Anyway, 
This has been Jezebel. I'm sorry this video has been so long. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for your nice comments. Um, I got a game called Dark Dreams Don't Die. And it's from the person who did Deadly Premonition. And you can actually play it with just your con your um, mouse or just... Um, some of my teeth there? I'm sorry. I'm checking my teeth now. Um, you can play it with just the mouse, which at the moment I have a trackball. Because it's easier for me instead of trying to move a mouse around. Um... But I'm I'm hoping I can maybe do a let's play of that. But I also have other games too, um, and I want to try when I'm feeling up to it. I either want to try to do vlogs. Um, doing vlogs like this is actually easier than doing let's plays, and I I can't really explain why. It's just a lot of work to fucking play games and talk over it. But I used my energy today to make this video for you. Um, next time I'm feeling good, I will do. I know I'll do a vlog tomorrow, because I'm going to be on a bus for four fucking hours total. Um, and then uh, I'll let you know what happened with my surgeon and stuff, and see about getting my other appointment for my therapy session. Um, but the next time I'm feeling up to it, instead of a giant vlog like this, because I had a backlog of food and stuff, I will do a game. It was suggested to me I play more um, bird dating simulator. Because I only got one ending. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out. Um, uh oh, my gum just separated. I just swallowed part of it. Well, that's going to stay in my stomach forever. This has been Jezmail. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Um, and uh, I'm glad you guys are with me on my road to recovery. And um, I will see you guys later, okay? Bye! Oh, this is such a bad video. I'm so sorry in advance. I feel so bad. Oh, no. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>